Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ask the Nanny. Tonight, we have something special for you. There is a new training in town. Well, actually, all over the globe, if you want to really be technical about it. But uh, there's a new training program, and we are here to find out what it is. Now, while I share with our groups, I'm going to have uh, the executive director. Are you the executive director or the president? President of this one. President. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so we're going to have uh, Elizabeth introduce herself and tell us a fun fact about herself. Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth Nelson. I am the president of the U.S. Nanny Institute. A fun fact about me is that I am a scuba diving instructor. I've been doing it for over 15 years, and my favorite two dives are swimming with the manta rays in Hawaii and doing a wreck called the Yangala, which is off the coast of Eastern Australia. So okay, people so out there who likes to swim, scuba dive, hit me up on my Facebook page. We'll talk about some great dive sites here in the United States because there are definitely a lot of them off the uh, coast of North Carolina. There's great wreck diving. And where I'm at here in Florida, there's beautiful reefs down in the Keys. Oh, you're in the Keys. Wow. Well, okay. I'm in Minnesota, but I can get to the Keys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, um, okay. I think I got everybody. Now, so tonight we're going to be talking about the U.S. Nanny Institute. It is an online program for nannies. And I have some, you know, you know me, I have to play devil's advocate. I need to know every detail for detail. So what came, uh, how did the, the institute start? Absolutely. So nannies are professions. They're professionals. And just like teachers have high quality training, daycare workers are required to have training, a group of college faculty came together and wanted to create a professional training program for nannies. There's a lot of great training out there, but we wanted to create programs that were tailored to nannies. So the early childhood education classes, well, that's great in a classroom where you've got teachers and resources. It's great in a daycare where you have teachers and resources, but we wanted to take that curriculum and help nannies apply it when they are working in a home by themselves. So the curriculum out there is early childhood education. It's a lot of child development, but our faculty make it different by tailoring it to a nanny and how a nanny would use it in their work environment. And so that's what's powerfully different about the curriculum at the U.S. Nanny Institute. Cool. Now, when you say tailor made, um, hello to everyone who can, just came in. Um, please share this video with your friends, your groups, your page, and um, anyone else you can think of, your mom's groups, because moms are going to want to get some of these graduates, and I, I promise you that. So, um, classroom, I've taught in the preschool. Yep. I've taught in. Um, in the elementary school, and I've taught in a home, had a home daycare. Now, nannies are totally different from all three of those schools. And we take over, we are self-driven, it's not a, um, as a nanny myself, this is a, it's different from being in a home, daycare setting where all the kids are learning mm -hmm. it's different than being in a classroom where all the kids are learning at the same time nannies learn differently and we teach differently we teach mm -hmm. uh life lessons and when i say life lessons as life happens you learn a lesson <laughs> so and, and most of it happens from cause and effect because you would need that bumblebee alone <laughs> <laughs> now that's probably a bad example but it's a cause and effect but you know kids kids are curious 
and we get to go outside of the classroom more. We get to go and visit more things. We get to explore more. So yes, I could see it being catered to, okay, so what happens when you're out with little Johnny in the museum or wherever the case may be, uh, what is the protocol? I can see that happening as opposed to what the center or home daycare would be. Now, catering to us as nannies, um, I feel that that's important because it doesn't lump us in with everybody else. It doesn't make us a, um, oh, you're just one of them. No, we're our own entity, we're our own separate thing. And, and you, we take pride in being nannies. <laughs> So we take pride in having our own things. And that's why I'm glad that this Nanny Institute is here. Now we have a question. Um, Life of a Fantastic and Professional Nanny asked the question, is this a part of the U.S. Nanny Association? So great question. Uh, the U.S. Nanny Association is a very separate entity. The U.S. Nanny Institute is a very separate entity, so they are not in any way connected or related. They're separate institutes. What you bring up, though, is a very good question. Um, both Angela and I have been a part of the association, and the association is doing a lot of activities in the community. And so organizations are supporting each other, but they are legally different entities and completely separate in how they're managed. And going on to what you had shared, Angela, the curriculum is very different for nannies. So you shared an example about going to the park and getting stung by a bee. But we have classes that talk very specifically about safety. How are you going to do an emergency plan? Because the daycare or the school isn't gonna do it for you. Our classes on learning environments teach you how to set up different learning stations in a home as opposed to what you would get if you were in a daycare or a school. Our classes also give you tools on how to manage kids of different ages and doing different tasks. We provide great examples of how to create your own schedule. If you go to a daycare or a school, someone likely will hand you the schedule and you don't have to do that work. But as a nanny, you have to have the skills to not only build your own schedule, but you have to know how much for fitness, how much for STEM activities, how much should be self-play, how much should be adult-directed play. And then how do you create a schedule that aligns with the parenting philosophies? Is it a Rye approach, a Montessori approach, a Pickler approach? All of this stuff is out there, but the U.S. Nanny Institute brings it together in a comprehensive program. So you don't have to guess what a career, what your curriculum should be. You don't have to go find out your own training and wonder if it's done by faculty or if it's done by a quality teacher. We've brought it together to serve the nanny community with this comprehensive program that nannies can really benefit for in their careers. Now, when you said scheduling, as a newborn care specialist, not only do you have to know scheduling, but you have to know when to change the schedule, when a child is ready to drop a nap, when a child needs to, to extend a nap, when uh, the bottles need to be changed when they, and when I said we need to be changed, how many ounces they're drinking, when you need to go up on that. When it's so many different things, uh, and when the baby changes, wow. especially during the four months regression. <laughs> oh, but yes, you definitely got to know have a plan, a plan, a plan during that time because some babies, if they're on the schedule, they will whiz right through it some that are not, you're going to have problems. And getting to that schedule and knowing what to do in those uh, types of situations is good to learn those type of things because that way you have a backup plan to your plan. And it's always have a, good to have a backup plan to the backup plan because sometimes everything doesn't go as planned. Example, this morning, uh, four o'clock in the morning, I was changing a twin and they were both quiet. They were just kind of just lolling and it was time to, you know, have that dream feed. I'm changing a pamper. I take one pamper out, go to slide the other one in and pew, everybody's <laughs> wet, including me. So now I got to take off uh, the, the, the 
the changing pad. I got to take off the gown. I got to take off the sleep sack. And I got to redress this child and get her sister because her sister's starting to start, starting to start. I'm hungry. So you what have to know on? how to, in the four o'clock a.m. hour, keep two babies quiet and keep them from screaming bloody murder because you're not feeding them on time and get this child changed and get it. it's just a lot so when your plan does not go according to plan you got to keep it moving you got to know okay it, you cannot panic because that would have been a panic moment for me uh 10 years ago oh my god this child just went all over what am i gonna do her sister i gotta this is why you get training because you know how to handle that panic attack. You know how not to panic and keep moving forward with your plan and keep going. And you know how to make the uh, the crying background noise. Because if not, you're going to be startled and you're like, wah, 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 all going on together. You need to have a plan and you need to learn how to, you know, this is what you need to learn. This is what a nanny institute is for, is to teach you how to get through these things and not panic in the middle of the night. And please don't let mom and daddy come bursting through the doors and saying, uh, why are my babies crying? What's wrong with right here? You know, what's going I have had that happen. I'm thinking to myself, uh, babies cry. They're upset. I'm not feeding them, you know, on time because we had an accident. It wasn't intentional, but as soon as that cold air hit that baby, it, it does not just happen to boys. I promise you. <laughs> I have three boys, so I know it doesn't just happen to boys. So having that training and knowing what to do in situations like that so you will not panic and you will keep moving forward and handle the situation. Because as soon as I got them dressed, got them in the chairs and stuck the bottles in their mouth, it was total silence. So you got to learn how to get from the panic up here, down here to the calm and peaceful. And the way, we, the, the way we approach that at the U.S. Nanny Institute is we have a class called Understanding Children, which goes through the developmental milestones at the different phases and talks about what's normal. And then we have a newborn care class, an advanced newborn care class, a toddler class, a preschool class. Um, and then I think we go into early primary years and then late primary years. So our curriculum does the overview, but we also go deep in each of those different ages to really dive in about what's normal and when you need to raise a red flag or ask some questions or maybe make some recommendations and when you need to just have the skills to make sure you provide the best learning environment. And so our curriculum is also a little bit different because we talk a, little, a lot about sleep training in newborn. Well, our classes, we break it down by ages, but every class we have also goes from birth all the way through elementary. So our sleep training class starts with birth, and then really you can start sleep training four to six months, but then it'll give you tips and tricks to help children who are having nightmares, who are wetting the bed, and how do you teach appropriate sleep behaviors and habits in early elementary kids so they're not staring at the TV as teenagers wondering why they have insomnia. And so our classes really focus from birth until mid-elementary so that the skills nannies get aren't just one section of the child care development. They can easily work with the newborn and just as much learn a little bit about Common Core math and help with homework. And that really allows nannies to have versatility in their career. So basically, they teach you how to be a juggler. <laughs> Seriously, you have to learn how to juggle the baby, hold the baby. Away. Okay, put, uh, carry the one, add the two. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yes, and you're still bouncing this baby and being this baby. Okay, all right. Okay, no, let's turn the page. You have to know how to juggle a uh, baby and toddler and sometimes teenager or, or three-nager. Oh, uh, but with every class, every section that comes along, it's teaching you 
this is what happened at this stage. This is what happens at this stage. This is what happens at this stage. It doesn't just leave you. Okay, so we're going to teach you about one-year-olds and three-year-olds and maybe a teenager or two. And there you go. This institute takes walks you through from birth on through. Because most of us are there for, if you are a lifer, and when I say lifer, you're there from birth, and then another one comes along, and then another one comes along, and by the by the fifth one coming along, the oldest one is is almost in, in high school, but you still got all these others underneath. So yeah, that's a lifer because you're there for, I've known nannies that have been there for 15 to 20 years until that last one got to like, 13, 14 years old and could stay at home with the older teenager. So you're going to be a lifer. It teaches you how to go through all of those stages, how to uh, maneuver all of those kids at the same time, because that's important at the <laughs> same time. And that's, that's just that's kind of the basic of stuff, right? If you're going to right. be a specialist nanny, and we have all the specialist training, we have special ed classes, we have child obesity oh. and diabetes classes, we have children who are at risk and how to help them, we have gifted or advanced children and how to help them, we have programs that talk about uh, multiples and um, caring for siblings when you bring a new baby home, and find another program that's going to teach you baby sign language because that's what oh. about baby oh sign my gosh. Yes. 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 Okay. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a baby sign language instructor. I'm sorry. We have a I love baby sign language. language. <laughs> yes, more eat. All yeah, all done, all done, and all done. <laughs> however, however, your child, you have to know your child to know what they're saying. Mm -hmm. But yes, I love baby sign language. I love that you all are doing it. Oh, can I come teach? Absolutely. Well, actually, you have to. So let's talk about that. Who are our faculty members? It's a great question because when you're doing training, any kind of training, take the time to learn about the school and the program. Uh, mm -hmm. At the U.S. Nanny Institute, our faculty are all on our website. We have over 30 faculty member and we have to meet the requirements of being a professional trade school. Our requirements are exactly the same as a trade school, a community college or a university. So our faculty are required to have at least a master's degree and at least five years of direct experience in the subject matter that they're teaching. And that is completely on our website so you can see everybody who is teaching at our school. Um, it's not me. I do teach a couple of classes, but not the child care classes. I do a lot of safety because in addition to being a scuba instructor, I'm also a trained paramedic. I'm a trained first aid responder and a first aid instructor. So I can do the emergency planning class and I can do the water awareness and water safety class. But most of the classes are taught by other experts. And that's the power of what we've pulled together. We have a lawyer, a child psychologist, several nutritionists, nurse practitioners, early childhood educators. These are people who are teaching the classes in the community colleges and universities, and they've now done it for our program so that our students can take it all online. Okay, so do you have any former nannies that used to be nannies that, that have gone on and, and decided they wanted to teach? Yes, so of our faculty members, nine of them were nannies. And so nine of our faculty members brought nanny experience, and that's how we tailored the program. So our children in the law class, the lawyer on our faculty asked those nine nannies, what do you need me to build you a class on? Those nannies had to go through and kind of look at the curriculum overall and make sure we covered all the right things. Um, we have nannies who went on to get master's degrees in social work, master's degrees in counseling, master's degrees in early childhood education, and they were just nannies early in their career and while they were in grad school. So it's not just a faculty point of view. It really came from nannies. And then a lot of our faculty were parents who who hired nannies. And so we wanted to get that woven in as well. And so we're really excited about the updated curriculum and the quality of the content that we're providing to help people have a clear career path with skills that are valued by parents. Okay. We have a couple questions. Sure. Um, Jasmine Lewis wants to know, what if parents would prefer a more lax approach? Is that something you override a bit? Now, I'm not sure if you're talking about the rye 
and uh, Montessori. Um, yeah, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if that's if that's the if, if that's what she's asking, but I'm assuming when she says a more relaxed approach, yep. I'm assuming that's what she's talking about. So we have a class on positive discipline that's taught by Dr. Lauren Formi Duvall, a clinical child psychologist. We have classes on Montessori, Rye, Pickler, Waldorf, gender neutral, positive parenting. And then we also have a class that's called communicating with families and how you can talk to families and learn about their parenting styles. And then with the information you have of different parenting styles, you can figure out what yours would be and then how to adapt. We also talk about uh, the traditional quote parenting uh, approaches, which is of course authoritarian or authoritative. The free range one is also called laissez faire. And so we talk about those different approaches to raising kids and that's all in our curriculum. I'm not sure where laissez faire is in our curriculum, but I know I've seen it somewhere. It's in there. Okay. So my approach is I take a little bit of all of that and whatever that child needs that day, that's what we're going to do. At that particular moment, if I need rye, there we go. If I need Montessori, here we go. Okay. So let me be all that. We, okay. We're going to be relaxed today. We're going to be laissez-faire. So it just depends on the parents, how they want to approach parenting. And I always explain when I go to the interview, what kind of parenting I do what kind of disciplining I like to do, what I how we are on the same page, or if we're different. And that lets me know if I can work with this family or oh no, we're on two different pages. You know, I'm not for you. That doesn't mean that you're a bad parent. That doesn't mean I'm a bad nanny. It just means that we're probably gonna be bumping heads because we have two different beliefs in parenting and raising children. But you are the parent and you raise your child the way you want to raise your child. I just don't believe in whatever it is you want. So I know that's not the job for me. So I move on. But the next thing that comes in is like, oh yeah, that's me. All, all of my alley. Yes. So I like that you all have all of the approaches and all of the parenting styles so that when they face a family, oh yeah, I learned about that. And even if you learned about it, it still may not be right for you. And you brought up something really, really important, really powerful, because trading and education is great, but it's all about finding a job and finding a fit with a good family. So included with every single U.S. Nanny Institute program, we have free job placement classes. These classes are included. You have the option to take them, but you don't have to. Um, but we have a class on interview preparation and interview skills how to write your resume, a, a traditional resume or a visual resume. We have a class on LinkedIn. We have a class on work agreements. We have a class on how to find a job. We have a class on how to negotiate your compensation. We don't just want nannies to have a, a comprehensive, solid career and solid education. We want nannies to find their dream job. And so we include those classes at no additional charge. They're out there for any nanny. We also published over 200 articles on our website, um, usnannyinstitute.com slash articles. There's over 200 articles out there that our faculty, our experts have written that are there as a free resource to the community. Okay. Now, Jasmine said she was referring to the scheduling, actually. She said, uh, sorry about that. For example, parents don't necessarily want to schedule a newborn or a toddler. I've been there too. And, and you don't necessarily, you don't have to have them on a schedule. You can, you know, like she said, laissez-faire, whatever, whatever comes, whatever floats your boat, whatever comes along that day. Okay, this is what we're doing today. That's on you. I am a scheduler. I know me. My whole life is on, That's I have mean. stuff on my pad right here. I keep a pad because I have to write things down because I have to be on the schedule. And that's just in my, that's ingrained in my brain. Both my pa parents were teachers. So they had lesson plans and which meant it was on a schedule. So we were always, it's just in me. 
Now your plan with your children and your nanny family, that's one thing. That's what one good, one good thing I know myself. I know my limitations. I know what I can deal with and what I can't deal with. And that's one of the things that you all need to know too. While you're learning, learn yourself. Learn about what you can tolerate and what you can't tolerate. Because even though all of this education and getting, you know, negotiating and all that other stuff, if you don't know what you want, you'll continuously choose a bad family for yourself. Because you think, oh, I could do that. Oh, I could do that. I've been there. I've done that. Get it together up here. Know what you can tolerate. Know what's what you... And it's going to take some trial and error to do that. But um, the Institute is there to get all that other stuff wrapped up. And while you're there, you probably will learn about yourself. You probably will learn to say, as they're teaching, you're like, oh, I didn't know that about myself. I didn't know... When I went to school for early childhood education degree and I had some of the assignments, I was like, really? Especially the child psychology classes. I was like, seriously? You want that child to do what? And that's when I found out, uh-uh, that's not for me. I will write my little essay and do what I need to do for class. But I know this is not my particular cup of tea. So learn yourself while you're there too because these are some excellent classes. And as you learn the book sense of classes, learn the me sense of yourself. Now, we had another question. Uh, All right, really quick, while you, while you look at the question, I wanna segue on that, learn about yourself. One of the things I wanna be super honest about is taking these classes and committing to an online program is effort and it takes a little bit of discipline. Some people do not thrive in online learning. It's a lot, it's self-paced. So you have to be disciplined to make sure you're gonna take the classes. And it's a lot of watching videos and we do provide notes. So every class comes with the video to watch and then it has notes that you can follow along and take notes. It's got an online quiz and an online exam. But if you don't have the discipline and you don't like learning or can't at least manage learning from a computer, then, then I just wanna share that. It's not for everyone. There are gonna be classes you can take at your local community college in person that are early childhood education. And that's another way to build your um, knowledge base. So make sure you're ready and comfortable for online learning because the, the discipline has to be with you. Right. Okay, I think you've already answered this question. Uh, Caroline says, uh, can you explain, explain the different classes? I see the basic, intermediate, advanced, specialist, and professional classes. I don't see any classes for newborn classes or baby sign language classes, but I think okay. you already explained that. Well, it's a little different. So I've talked a lot about the classes and this is a really important point. So thank you for asking the question. We do have them broken up into five programs and each of the programs is 10 hours of classes. So basic is 10 hours, then you take intermediate, which is 10 hours, then you take advanced, which is 10 hours, specialist and professional. So you can, it's broken up into five groupings. The basic program is a foundation. It focuses a lot on the overall developmental milestones and safety. Uh, the intermediate program goes through the ages. That's the classes that's gonna have newborn care, toddler, uh, preschool, early elementary. Your advanced classes have your advanced newborn care and learning environments, teaching self-regulation, helping with homework. Your specialist starts getting into special education in those classes. And so they're broken down into groups. And so people ask, why is it so complicated? Why do you have five levels? Well, we are a college, so we're not allowed to discount anything. So what we wanted to do is break it up so you can buy just the basic program first. And then if you wanna wait six months, apply the basic, and then you can re-enroll and whenever you want, you can then do intermediate. Then you can immediately go into advanced. So you can break it up into five different payments because you technically enroll at the Institute with five different programs. Uh, we can't take financial aid. We can't, we can't take credit. We, we, we have to accept tuition before we're allowed to do the classes. So by creating the five levels, you can space the program through five different steps. If you choose the professional program, it's all 50 hours 
and you save money. We get we can give you an enrollment, an administrative fee discount. And so that's why it looks a little complicated. And it honestly, it is a little complicated on the website. Another question we get is, can I skip and just do uh, the professional program and not do the 40 hours beneath it? And the answer is no. Our program has been approved as a progressive curriculum that builds on the earlier classes in the later classes. And so you have to start with basic. You can't just pick and choose. And while that may be frustrating for some, it's actually the power of the Institute. Families who look at these programs and realize a graduate has all of this training, has confidence that every U.S. Nanny Institute graduate has this training. When you start picking and choosing, then parents aren't sure what it means. Speaking of parents, if you're working for a family, hit them up to pay for this. Uh, last time I looked, over 60% of our tuition is paid by somebody other than the student, which we're turning out and finding out is when you're asking for continuing education, some parents, when they're able, will help out with the tuition and even cover it in some instances. Okay. Uh, so, Life of a Fantastic and Professional Nanny would like to know, how much does the course cost? Okay. I explained there's two different ways you can buy the class. You can buy the basic program for $350. When you're ready, come back. Might be one month, might be a year. Intermediate is $350. Then you come back and do advanced, it's $350. You come back and do specialists, it's $350. You come back and do professionals, $350. If you wanna buy the basic and the intermediate together, it's $650. If you wanna go all the way to basic, intermediate, and advanced, it's $950. If you wanna buy the specialist, it's $1250. And if you wanna buy the professional program, it's only $1550. So if you buy the professional all at once, it's $1,550. If you buy each of them in order, it then comes out to be $1,750. So you save $200 when you buy it all at once at the professional level. Okay. okay. At least you can go in stages because at $350, I'm thinking, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, I took a class back in 2003. It was a three hour class, college course. And it cost me more than three fifty. I was like, "Say what?" <laughs> so, I'm like, "Okay." If you look at the cost of our tuition, it's 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 highly affordable. It's actually yes. so affordable that when I presented the programs for approval at the Department of Education, they thought it was a typo, and they actually were really surprised that it was this affordable. Um, and they actually encouraged me to raise our tuition. And we always have the option to do that, but we really, as much as we can, want to see if this can find grassroots, if we can support nannies and keep it highly affordable. Uh, we haven't done tons of marketing. You don't see all of that because all of that costs more money. So we're trying to keep it affordable. We know, especially now with COVID, that there's a lot of nannies who, who need this training to help them compete with teachers who are also out of work and competing for these jobs. People who never thought about being a nanny and now are gonna try to get some nanny jobs because it's a gig job they can do for a while. Competition is hot. And so we really want the nannies who are committed to our industry, who are committed to their career to have something that's affordable. And that's important to our mission um, I, I worry that we're going to have to raise tuition and raise advertisements, but for right now, we really want to try to keep it affordable for people. Okay. I just want to point out something, uh, because being a teacher, having an early childhood education degree is wonderful. And I don't knock teachers at all, but what I do know is what goes on in the classroom and what goes on in someone's home is two different things. The knowledge of being a nanny and knowing how a nanny functions in a household is totally different than being in the classroom and you have control of everything. Being a nanny, the parents are in control. Being a teacher, you're in control of the parents. Like, okay, this is what little Johnny is doing and this is what I need you to do in here. It's a totally different role 
And some of the teachers are going to face a rude awakening when the parents want to be. Uh, you're laughing, but I'm so serious because it hit me when I had my first nanny job. It hit me. I'm like, what you mean? You in charge? What you talking? So I had to redirect myself and learn how to work with families instead of I'm in charge. Do what I said do. This is what little Johnny needs and you need to do it. <laughs> So. And I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I, I took three phone calls this week of teachers who left a voicemail. They're like, please call me back. I started a nanny job and this is not teaching. <laughs> I had three teachers call me and they're like, I don't, know the else knows. I don't need the lesson planning class, but I need to know like, how do I communicate with parents? What is my role? You know, how much, you know, should I really be doing their laundry? And so I, I'm laughing because it, that's absolutely <laughs> that right there. The laundry part, it, it gets them every time. Cause I was like, oh, I'm not folding you up. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So then that's where contract negotiations come in. Cause I put in my contract that I will do child-related laundry <laughs> and child-related dishes and cooking and all of that stuff. Now, if you want all this extra, it's going to cost you extra. Mm -hmm. But this was in my contract. So it's a contract negotiation. And, and some teachers don't realize this is a contract negotiation, not a, what? Are you serious? I got to do what? Yeah, so that's why I said I'm glad that you that, that they are learning how to negotiate their contracts, how to communicate with parents, and how to tell them this is what uh, I will or won't do, and because everybody has a limit, and contracts are meant for compromise and being changed. It's not written. I always tell parents, my contract is not written in stone. It is a basic guideline and we can change what needs to be changed as long as both of us are in agreement. Not, okay, well, I'm going to add this to the contract and you're just going to do it. <laughs> well, and teachers need to understand what is a nanny versus a professional nanny, a specialist nanny. How does a nanny share work? What is a family assistant? What is a household manager? And, you know, that's true, not just for the teachers who are industry entering our industry, but all the daycare workers who got let go are calling up and are taking these classes. So I think the nanny industry is going to grow in how many people are going to be looking for nanny employment. And at the end of the day, children are going to have better care. But I think nannies are going to need to have a little bit more on their resume in order to get those top jobs and get the top salary. Yes, exactly. Um, Life of a Fantastic Professional Nanny says, um, do you do discounts, for example, for nanny, National Nanny Recognition Week? Great question. We cannot do discounts and we will never do discounts. So as a trade school, we have the same laws that apply, same, not laws, they're regulations from the Department of Education. Colleges, university, professional trade schools are not allowed to have discounts. Every student who enrolls must pay the exact same price unless there is a scholarship. So we will either raise our tuition on a certain date and thereby anybody after that date has a tuition increase we will lower tuition if we can, but I don't think we can go much lower because we're already on the bare bones. Um, so we will never have discounts. So there's never a, a it, there's just, we, our regulations won't let us do it. We do, however, support the community and we have two scholarships that we do. We have a fall scholarship and a spring scholarship. Those are embedded in our finances. We give away those every spring and every fall. That's also on our website under the Enroll tab. You can look at those and anyone can apply for those scholarships, spring and fall. And then we have a scholarship committee that goes through a process to select the recipients. Cool. And you can also get a scholarship from your family, a stipend from your family that you're working with to help you pay for these classes. If they pay 200, you pay 150, boom, there you go. You're in class, first 10 hours. So um, just... 
There's also a lot of agencies who, you know, you can talk to the agency and say, hey, agency owner, you know, when you talk to the parents, let them know I'm willing to take these classes if they can help me with tuition. And a lot of times when you start a new job, you can talk in your negotiations, hey, it's six months, can we split the cost of this? Or hey, it's six months, can I, can, can we talk about a bonus or maybe getting this training added? Uh, because a lot of uh, parents who can afford an agency fee, especially in your big cities, to drop $350 or $650, it's not going to phase them a bit because they know it's going to invest in you being a stronger person to take better care of their kids. Yes. So what you can do is say for National Nanny Recognition Week, buy me and mine a training. I'm just saying, it, it, it appreciate me that much to give me some classes. Help me help you get some training. And once I get trained, all my training comes back and I use it with your child. So there you go. But um, now my next, uh, uh, you touched about something that's near and dear to my heart. I'm, I'm certified in special education. And when you said uh, special needs children, I was like, Yes, my heart was singing because um, I have a a child with inabilities. I don't say disabilities, and I don't say uh, our special abilities. I just say inabilities. But we work around them, we overcome, and we what is it? Adapt, overcome, and something else. But anyway, this same child that had an IEP from fourth grade on through high school, now has a associate's degree in psychology, a bachelor's degree in psychology, and a master's degree in college student something something, basically college student HR. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but at the time when we realized that he has special needs. The doctor said, well, you know, he may be, you know, with you for life. In other words, because of the learning disability that he had, um, he may not be able to, it, it may be difficult for him to just graduate high school. And now he has defied the odds and he has three degrees in teaching and he is a student advisor at a college. That's a wonderful. So when I say you can do it, I'm, I'm I'm proof positive. I have proof that it can be done if you are determined, if you stay on track, if you uh, stay focused, and you have a good support team that helps you keep and stay focused. Now, sorry. What the, no, one of the things you shared was an IEP. For those of you who don't know what an IEP is, that is also covered in our curriculum. It is how schools create programs for people who need, or for students and children who need to be taught differently. Uh, in addition, our program also has our different learning styles. Some people are auditory learners, some are visual learners, some are kinetic learners. And so there's seven different ways people learn and if you can understand those seven ways, then you can adapt to different children. Um, some children memorize things on site. Some of them need to touch something in order to learn, or they need music in the background. Some of them don't. And so there's seven different ways to learn. And you can, one of the things I learned is which way I learn. Um, and so all of that is part of the program that you'll get something out of it. You can help the kids, but it becomes really important for kids who need extra support to be successful. Okay, Kimberly Brown says, FYI, the nanny school I went to was double the price of U.S. Nanny Institute, and my school now a semester is fifteen fifty. Woo! So this is a great price for me, all of you. <laughs> yes, it is a great price because I mean you can take one. Uh, professional development class and spend $400, $500 easily. You get a whole basic nanny um, class. Yeah, and it is broken. I like that it's broken down and it goes, it's a progressive program. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, I, I like that because, you know, the pick and the choose, it's just like being in college. Okay, so I'll pick this one. And I, and I, I promise you, I'm so guilty. I would go to my advisor and I would say, okay, these are the classes that I want to take. And then I would write it in pencil. And he would, and now you, I'm telling my age now too. He, I would write it in pencil and I sign off and I go over here and I go take the class that I wanted to that was on the junior level. And I'm just still a freshman. And I get in the junior level class. I'm like, oh my God, what did I do? And I end up dropping two, two of those classes twice. I ended up dropping out of class because I couldn't handle it. It is in a progressive order because this is the order that you progressively take these classes and do them in order. And by the time you get to that upper level class, you'll understand what you were trying to grasp way down here that you missed. And we are all the way up here. You're like, oh, what happened? And they start taking, talking terminology that you're supposed to know. And you don't know that terminology. So you basically have to go study three times as hard as if you had just taken the class in the first place. So don't be like me. Well, and it's also important for nutrition. When we talk about breast milk fed babies versus formula fed babies versus how much carbohydrates and proteins and fats are needed for children of different age group as they go through their nutrition, how many calories they need. Well, you have to understand all of that stuff to, to really get it. And so that's really powerful with the progression. But also what, what we're excited about with this curriculum is we need as an industry to come together and define the skills that make a nanny. And then we need to all consistently have those skills. Mm -hmm. Somebody having baby sign language, another person knowing about baby led weaning, one person knowing about the value of this. We can't raise together our profession and say, we are a group of people who are going to bring a certain number of skills and value to your home unless a group of us can do that consistently. And so a lot of people want to pick and choose their favorite classes. And we're like, no, either you, you, you've got all the skills or you can go and find the individual classes you want. But we want to invest in your career as a whole, not just in little pieces and parts. I'm sorry, I was laughing. Kimberly said I was a rebel. <laughs> and I just had <laughs> to laugh. And I'm like, yep, that was me. <laughs> You're awesome. I was a rebel. I was trying to get done. I was like, come on. Y'all got me taking these little refreshment classes. I know I've been all this stuff. Shoot. And, come on. Yeah. And because I had parents that were teachers in the elementary education, so they taught me a lot. And because we were in two different school districts, some days I didn't have school. My mom would drag me to school with her. So I would teach, help her teach the class and, and she teach me, you know, how did she taught them to read. She taught me just all these other things. And I'm like, when I, so when I got to school, I'm like, I already know this. Come on, people. Get with the program. Let me move on up. And yeah, me being, me you know, 18, 19 years old, thinking I know everything. <laughs> yeah, I was a rebel. <laughs> Well, and I can't tell you how many people who have gone through the program, and it's it's been quite a lot, and they're like, I didn't even know that I didn't know this stuff. And it's because, you know, well, I've been a nanny for eight years, and most of our students have five to ten years of experience when they come in the program. And they're like, I've been doing this for seven, eight, ten, fifteen years, and I didn't even know there were seven learning styles. I didn't even know that there are all these different parenting approaches. And you just don't know what you don't know until, until you have a program and a class to help you get there. You don't know what you don't know until you don't know it. Until you know you don't know it. Right. And some, some of the classes, I'm not going to lie, it's foundational, right? We talk about mm -hmm. how to wipe a baby, you know, from the girls, you got to go front to back. Most people mm -hmm. know this, but we don't take anything for granted. We're going to make sure we say it. And that way, you know, and if for some reason you didn't get the memo that you're not allowed to microwave formula, we're going to make sure you know all that stuff. But every single class should teach you something new as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad <clears throat> that you all have, you know, like I said, that there's new training in town and that um, I'm in on the ground floor. 
I get to, I feel like Ace Reporter. I'm on the ground floor. I'm reporting the first. You heard it first here on Ask the Nanny. <laughs> so, a big reveal. So, uh, exclusive. <laughs> but um, is there anything else that we should know about the classes? Um, I know you said it's, it's pace by pace. Uh, is, a, is it like a, a portal that you log into? Like, what is that called? Uh, now, I'm still dating myself. We used to call it Blackboard. When we, I, I'm serious. That's what the portal name was. The portal the name of the portal was Blackboard. You sign into your Blackboard account because I know we don't have chalkboards and Blackboards anymore. <laughs> I just feel like you can go and just keep digging it deeper. It's fun to watch. I'm sorry. I, I, you can tell how long it's been since I've been in college. Uh, so, so, yes. So the answer is yes. It's all online. So if you go to usnannyinstitute.com, you click enroll, you pick which of the five programs you want to do, um, you click on it, you will immediately pay for your full tuition. Uh, you will get an email immediately sent to you. It often goes to your junk or spam folder, so check it. You can you log into your student account, create your password. There is a enrollment agreement and a statement of understanding that you have to read and sign. And you can do that at two in the morning. You can do it at two in the afternoon. As soon as you sign up for your enrollment agreement, within 30 minutes, your classes will unlock in your portal. And it's all automated. You watch the classes whenever you want. If you stop, it'll hold your place for you. You come back, Ooh, finish yeah. the class. You can take the classes in whatever order you want. So if you order the basic program, all 10 classes load up. We don't care how, what order you take them in. You can watch, maybe you're the type of person who wants to watch half of water safety and half of children in the law. We don't mind. The, the, the software and the computer system will track it all. Your quizzes are graded automatically and they're scored right then and give you feedback. And when it's time to take the proficiency exam, you can take it again, whenever you want, they're on demand and it'll score them right away. If you pass your exam within 30 minutes, if the next level, if you've already purchased it, the next level will automatically unlock and you will immediately be able to download um, your certification once you pass your exam. It's all online and automated. And we do have somebody Monday, Friday who's in the office if you need any tech support or if you have any questions. Okay, so um, life of a fantastic and professional nanny. And she says, I wish that uh, this training were mandatory for all the nannies. We need a hello. Everybody needs to take a something. Okay. And uh, Jasmine, oh, thank you, Jasmine. I'm not so old. Jasmine Lewis says she used Blackboard. <laughs> so now I feel justified. <laughs> and and we use Blackboard. Um, for those of you who are interested, our online learning system is SAP Litmos. So you would log into SAP Litmos, but it's similar to Blackboard, just a little bit more modern. Okay. <laughs> Kimberly said, can you start? at any time or is it uh, like a college semester? You can start at any time. So if you're ready to sign up today, sign up today. If you're gonna plan to sign up in six weeks, sign up in six weeks. Um, it is an it is an on-demand system and we are enrolling students whenever they are ready. Okay, okay. So if you're not ready to, excuse me. If you're not ready today and you need to get your funding together, cause I know, um, I know that Sometimes, you know, especially with COVID, you want to to take things in classes and do things, but because of financial situations and you try to catch up on different things, you know, Christmas bonus, and National Nanny Recognition Week, you know, appreciate appreciate me, <laughs> please appreciate me. Give me sign me up. Give me a scholarship. Can, oh, can parents? buy scholarships can they buy can they purchase uh uh is it i don't want to say gift certificates that's not that's yeah. not a college <laughs> that's a scholarship that's what i'm scholarship i'm gonna leave it at that can they purchase a scholarship yes so there's two ways to do it uh really tech savvy parents will fill out the online form 
and they'll just put their nanny's name and email address in that section and then they'll just put their billing information in and that way what happens is the parents get billed on their credit card but the enrollment information goes straight to the nanny that happens about half the time. The other half of the time, they buy it for themselves and then they call us. And again, we have somebody staffing Monday through Friday. We have an admissions officer who's working and they ask Lynn to switch it over into the nanny's name. And so that happens about the other half of the time. Um, okay. but they pay for it, however, and then if we need to go in and correct it and correct the name and the email address, we do that all the time. Okay, now my next question is, if they just wanted to make a donation towards their um, the the semester, well not semester, towards the ten hour program, do, can they just say, "Well, I want to donate two hundred fifty dollars towards my nanny's uh, next course set of courses that she's going to take"? Can they do that, and the nanny pay the rest of it? Is it on her account, or do they have to pay for the whole thing? Yeah, so because we are not allowed to have discounts or even the appearance of discounts, we don't have that type of infrastructure. Okay. So the parents either need to pay it all on their credit card or they need to trust the nanny and give the money to the nanny. But one person has to be the person who pays it in full and only then can we process an enrollment. So we can't do multiple people and partial payments. We, we're just not quite set up for that. Okay. Just asking because I know somebody's going to ask yep. that question. Or somebody wanted to ask that question. Absolutely. Um, let me see. Make sure we don't have any other questions. Um, oh, I don't see any other questions. Let me look over here. For some reason, some uh, I guess because I shared it in groups, this uh, in groups that I'm getting half the messages over here and half the messages on my screen. So, and some of them are not on my screen. Uh, maybe it's because they don't like Ask the Nanny. I don't know what the deal is. Um, well, when I say don't like Ask the Nanny, they have not liked the page Ask the Nanny. So therefore <laughs> they come, uh, I'm using a new um, uh, way, of <laughs> way of communicating. I'm, I'm not using Zoom, I'm using StreamYard and their rules are totally different than Zoom. At least on StreamYard, I can at least see some of the comments, but I have to go back and forth between my phone and my screen in order to see, to make sure I didn't miss anything. So well, if you guys have questions for me, you can absolutely shoot them to info at usnannyinstitute.com. You can plop them on this. Um, Angela will flag me and I'm happy to answer questions in the comment section on all the social media platforms. And of course, our website has a ton of information as well. So we're happy to answer any questions you may have. Okay, so you, you see it scrolling down underneath our, our name, underneath us, right here at the bottom of the, of the screen, right there. I got that part right. This is a mirrored screen and I'm trying to figure out my hands. Yeah, right there. <laughs> It's scroll, it, it scroll, uh, it's scrolling this way. There you go. You got this. I can't help but laugh at myself because technology is different. And when you're learning how to use it, you learn how to use it. But I guarantee you, once I get it down, somebody's going to say, Angela, how do we work this? So when I figured out Facebook Live, and then they change it. And what happened to Facebook Live? I'm like, sorry, they changed it. What am I supposed to do now? So yeah, uh, I'm figuring this one out. So I love it. Because I, I know somebody's going to ask. But it is scrolling this way. <laughs> Let me start over here. It's scrolling <laughs> this way. The information for the U.S. Nanny Institute, usnannyinstitute.com. If you want to email info at usnannyinstitute.com. So now, do you all have a Facebook page? Absolutely. Okay. Instagram, so, LinkedIn, Twitter, and I feel like I'm forgetting one. Okay. So find them on Facebook. If this was information, this information was helpful to you, find the US Nanny Institute on Facebook and like them. 
like their page and go by those of you who I can't see on the screen over here, go by and like Ask the Nanny. So the next time you come by, I can see your 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 uh your uh comments on my screen. And while you're there, leave us a review. I know I saw somebody who asked a question earlier. Oh, Suzette. Uh how can I get involved in Ask the Nanny? I love this. So helpful and informative. Thank you, Suzette. If you will send us a message, I can tell you how you can get involved. There are plenty of things to do. I promise you there are plenty of things to do because I am all over the village and I can always use some extra hands, ears, eyes, you know, because I don't know everybody. But I do like connecting with people who know, but who know somebody, who know somebody, who know somebody, who can get it back to me. Love it. Now, also, if you want to watch Ask the Nanny archives, please visit our YouTube page. It's youtube.com forward slash Ask the Nanny. There are ooh, about 135 videos of Ask the Nanny on there. And as a bonus, we have a section for recipes galore. We have children's books. So if you're looking for something for your children to read, there are about 80 or 90 books on the audio books, read aloud books that I've already read, read uh, that are read aloud books that you can just open your browser and will read to your child. I did this because I have allergies and I always lose my voice. So on those days when I can't read, I was like, man, I need some of this stuff recorded because these kids love to read. Light bulb. So I recorded some stories and it started out as a way of me being able to still read to the kids, even if my throat is closed up and I have laryngitis. So there are books on there. And there are also some... Uh, Toddler games, things that you are projects that you can make with your kids, games, uh, learning projects that you can make with your kids on there. All of my passions are on YouTube, my YouTube channel. So go by, stop by, subscribe, like them, leave me comments so I'll know <clears throat> what you like, what you don't like, because that's the only way I can improve. And last but not least, drum roll, please. Okay, so on June 6th and 7th, I am teaching a portfolio and a mini portfolio class or workshop. It is $20 for uh, per workshop. If you take both of them, it is $30. Please contact me or you can go on uh, Ask an Any uh, events page and click on the portfolio or the mini portfolio and you can buy tickets to the class there. And as soon as you purchase the tickets, a, a special link to the class that's made specifically for you will come up. And if you try to trade to somebody else, just saying, it's not going to work. I'm just saying. So if you want to purchase the class for someone else, please contact me so we can get the correct information so that... Uh, the platform will work properly for when they want to sign in, okay? Now, I will be back on Wednesday at noon in my Nanny Circle Facebook group. I will be talking to Aileen Matherin. So join us there on Thursday at noon, Central Daylight Time. I will be back on Wednesday evening at 5.15 with my grandson, we're doing an early literacy program for the summer. So please join us then. And I will be back Thursday night for the DIY Nanny Adventure uh, Camp. Laura Brawley, uh, Sarah uh, Salis uh, Salisbury, I think that's how you pronounce her name, and Heidi Jolene. They have come up with a summer camp for kids because you know summer camps are closed. Most of them are closed across the country. They have come up with a summer camp for nannies. And I promise you, 
there's nothing. All you do is pick up the supplies and go. That's fantastic. Easy peasy. And when I tell you it's easy peasy because I'm a grandma and I have my kids here one one week during the summer. Shoot. Think I'm not going to buy it? We think <laughs> they're coming? I will be all over it. Okay. What are we doing this week? <laughs> and all you need is the supplies and the uh, and pick up. We will be all over it. It's a theme camp. Uh, each week you're doing something totally different. And you, all you do, like I said, all you do is pick up the supplies. It is geared toward being at home. It is geared toward um, having fun with the kids and not having to think about, oh, Lord, it's another day. What are we going to do today? So okay. meet me here on Thursday. And I think that's all my announcements for right now. <laughs> <laughs> Other than next Monday is Memorial Day, and I will not be here. I will be on vacation. Yay! Ting! Not like I can go anywhere, but ting! I will be on vacation. <laughs> a staycation is vacation. A staycation is vacation. I'll just go and put my feet in the bathtub and let the water run. <laughs> I'm at the beach. <laughs> Pretend I have a I have seashells and I have coral in my bathroom and all that know. stuff. So I'm gonna pretend I'm at the beach and I have all these flowers and plants and things. Oh, it's gonna be nice. <laughs> I want a picture of you in the backyard in one of those little kitty pools. Yes. I have a umbrella. <laughs> a new umbrella, <laughs> like a big umbrella and a little umbrella in in my ice tea. <laughs> Perfect. My vacation. <laughs> so you all have a great week and join us again on Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And we will see you all Wednesday. Thank you, Elizabeth, for coming on and telling us about the, the nanny course. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate the opportunity to share this with everyone. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> Someone said the summer camp include uh, 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 involve in, uh, involve drinks, involve all drinks, <laughs> and umbrellas. Well, mine is going to include. I don't know. <laughs> mine won't. <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you all again, and we will see you all. On Wednesday and Wednesday and Thursday. You all have a great week. And don't forget tomorrow night. I almost forgot. Tomorrow night. How can I forget that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have too much on my plate. Tomorrow night, U.S. Nanny Association, not Institute, Association. Totally different. U.S. Nanny Association is having a webinar on every Tuesday night. We're there on the U.S. Nanny Association page. Be sure you stop by and tune in. I Trust me, I will be sharing it to all the groups. So if you can't catch it on there, you'll catch it somewhere else. Come to my page. It'll be there. Okay? All right. Now I'm gone this time. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> you all have a good night. Good night. Thank you.